Hunters, welcome back. Sky Sensei here with a quick video. So I'm technically still not done my first blind playthrough of Breath of the Wild, but as you know, I love new stuff. I love E3. So here we are looking at the first gameplay that they have shown us of Breath of the Wild 2. Now this won't be a super in-depth analysis. I'm not a Zelda connoisseur, but like just I'm just excited and I want to share it with you guys. So let me know in the comments what you guys notice, what are some mind-blowing things that you're excited for that you saw in the trailer. You know, let's have a great discussion about this because this is definitely a game that everyone is looking forward to. I'm super excited because Breath of the Wild has a very amazing story-driven exploration game. I'm still not done my first playthrough, you know, still going through it, but it's it's amazing already. I'm, I'm enjoying it so much. Clearly in this trailer, we're seeing that the world is being expanded, which is exciting to see. We're going to have some definite touches of the first game coming into the second game. We're going to see an expansion of that world. We're seeing some verticality also added to the map, which I always love. Personally, having a sky sandbox is just so cool in games. So here we can see some sort of structures in the background. We're not sure what this is. It does look like a big, large land that we can explore. I'm very excited to see what they've put up in the sky. Even here, we can see big chunks in the skybox that we can definitely get onto, it looks like, and we'll be able to explore. Genshin Impact actually has is pretty nailed down in terms of a sky air box where you turn to gliding from various heights that you can climb up mountains and scale things so Breath of the Wild did this very well in, in the first game in terms of climbing so it's actually exciting to see that there's some things that are actually being lifted. We have scenes here of different areas being lifted into the sky which I think is just a great expansion of the world. Link's new outfit is also something really cool. Definitely that age-old hero of the Roman like kind of look. Definitely a fan of the outfit. I love it. But you also see in this his hair! Ladies and gentlemen, this man has lush hair. This man could literally do, maybe it's a Maybelline shampoo commercial and I would literally buy it. Like just, it looks fantastic. Big fan of the hair. All right, let's take a look at a couple more details here. A big thank you to Just Sacklight from my community for helping me point out some of the features here. We do get a glimpse of some of the new enemies here and some customization on old enemies as well. Whatever this giant robot thing is, clearly powered by the Sheikah tech. Uh, indicated by the eye on top but it also has that green flow energy which we see also on Link's arm and it's also on one of the skills when he phases up through the rock. So this green energy might be a new feature or a new energy system something new coming in something new in the world that we're gonna have to understand and explore. Also some changes to the rune abilities we have shown stasis here which it might just be an enhancement of the style of stasis but honestly something that I would love to see come into Breath of the Wild 2 would be skill trees that can be maxed out keep it nice and simple so that we can max out all our abilities by the end but it'd be really nice to see our abilities evolve over time as we progress through the game. The Bokos also have like little cute horn little unicorn thingies going on on their heads. I don't know if you guys see that so that's kind of nice to see some changes to the monsters that we already know in the world. Maybe there's a little bit of an evolution, a change in time, something to show that time has passed. I personally don't know because I haven't finished this game if this is like right where Breath of the Wild 1 ends or if this is a little bit far in the future but guessing from Link's hair he has grown a bit I'm assuming. Also we see here in the background here Death Mountain has no smoke so definitely some time has passed. One other thing I uh, noticed is that the Sheikah Slate is actually also missing. That was the tool that was always hanging on his left side that's what we use to like use our powers. But it does seem like his right arm now is going to be how we use a lot of our skills and abilities. To be fair, that Sheikah Slate was also Zelda's to begin with. We were told that in Breath of the Wild 1, so maybe she just took it back on whatever adventure she's apparently got herself into now. But the big thing here that I'm wondering about is that without the Sheikah Slate, are we going to see a return with the picture mode? And even taking that further, are we going to see a return of the memory system that we had in Breath of the Wild 1? A big portion of the story was really driven by Link searching for Zelda's memories that were embedded in her Sheikah Slate with those 16 pictures that we had. I personally am a huge fan of this system. It has really driven the exploration for me. I've really been trying to explore the map and play the game because I really want to know what is Link's past and I want to see those memories with Link and Zelda. So it was a really great feature that we had in Breath of the Wild 1. But I guess the bigger question is also story-wise, how would they incorporate that memory system going as a sequel and moving forward with a future together so all in all maybe we won't be seeing the Sheikah Slate or the memory system returning maybe the pictures though I don't know how many people actually really enjoyed taking pictures I did enjoy it but it was a little bit more like very tedious to be able to take pictures of literally everything in Hyrule so finally last thing um hello flamethrower question mark 
some like Chinese dragon looking thing on our left arm. Actually, it looks more like it's an attachment to the shield, which is actually kind of neat. So maybe we'll see some more customization of the weapons and shields in this game than we did in the previous one. The one thing I was I was never a fan of, I'm usually a fan of collecting weapons, rare weapons and items in games. So Zelda really threw me off here. It was just like, I, I hate losing my weapons that I collect. But maybe we'll see a change in that system. Maybe they'll change the weapon system from breaking and durability to more of a customization and leveling up weapons. I would love that. I think that's something that I really personally enjoy. Just a personal touch, personal opinion here. I don't know what you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see a different weapon system than what we had in Breath of the Wild 1. Alrighty, and, and that's about it for me, guys. I'm sure there's quite a few more neat lore things in this video and this trailer that we saw. I'm sure the Zelda super fans are breaking it down for us as we speak. If not, probably there's a video out there already by the time my video gets out there. But I just thought I'd share my excitement with all of you, and I really wanted to know what you guys thought on this trailer and the sequel of this game. So let me know in the comments. Let's have a discussion. And yeah, can't wait till it comes out in 2022. Till next time, everyone. Stay safe, be happy, and keep hunting.